map, very unfavorable for the killer, very favorable for the survivors. Wow, try saying that 10 times fast. Now, I already spawned at the red barn, so there should be a Jenny to my right-hand side. There she is. Now, I know how good this generator is, therefore I'm not going to do it. I also checked a totem spawn on the right then to see if there was ruin, and there wasn't, so we're going to cycle into the map a little bit. I'm kind of keen on working on the Jenny on my left. It's a clown. Cool. He's running to the shack already, or the shack, the big shack, the red shack. We're going to work on this. I'm looking through the corn. That was a really good uh, sidestep. Bad bottle from the clown, though. Check it for a totem in the corner there. That's a negative. Got a chest over here. It's being searched by an ally. Therefore, I know somebody's over there. I know there. I've counted three players, including myself. We're going back into this generator. I kind of want to scream to know if he has exhaustion. If he has the solvent jug add on. He ran away during that loop. That was good if he didn't step in the bottle, but he stepped in the bottle, so that was a mistake. Was the basement of the red barn? That is a good question. I didn't check, but I should have checked. You're 100% right. I made a mistake. You are 100% right on... You should have checked through the basement because I ran past it. Oh, for love of Pete, man. Worst time to get a skill check. He entered Chase, therefore he's building Bloodlust. We're going to find out if he's got Bamboozled. Throw it around. Let's find out. Let's listen. That's Bamboozled, 100%. Notice my parthing. Oh, dude. Do, 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 do. Well, I just fucked Ace. I kind of wanted to use the pallet, but the clown's got too much tunnel vision on the generator nearly being done. I wanted to utilize the pallet to the right there. Oh, God. Why do you hate me? What the fuck did I do? What did I do to you? You literally just ran past the other guy to come to me. <laughs> oh, bro. Come on, man. Give a brother a break. Why are you going to chase me like that? Okay, cool. He's good. He's cool fam, he cycled. He's like, this guy's gonna be too much of a migrant grain, and he let me go. So we're gonna go right back to work here. Work on this. I'm pretty sure Ace would've went back to his journey in the shack, or the red barn. Oh, hello mate. That's a different Ace, so the other guy's probably doing no journey in there. Okay, on an unrelated note, I just had a chicken pie, and... I don't normally root for chicken pies, because it's normally chicken and leek. This wasn't a chicken and leek, this was a chicken and gravy pie. Right, moving back on. Can hear the Jenny's nearly done. Now, yeah, he's on it. So realistically, this is the last Jenny you want to complete. It's in the red barn. You've got one in the shack too, therefore poorer rotation for the killer, making it harder for him. If this is a solo gen, which it is, we should have finished that one rather than the opposite one. It would have been the smartest play, but it looks like you don't need to be SEAL Team 6 right now against this clown. He might be a little bit of a babby. On another unrelated note, there's this pie I buy frozen. It costs nine and a half dollars for two. They are the best pies I've ever had in my life. I've had a lot of pie. I'm Australian, so pie and sausage rolls, like my middle name. It's fun, pie, sausage roll, goose. That's my full name. Fun, sausage roll, pie, goose. Anyways, there's this frozen one, which is buttered chicken. A buttered chicken frozen pie. Now, I know you'd get chefs that are like, oh, frozen, it's horrible, blah, 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 blah. This is the best damn pie I've had in my entire life. And I've had a lot of pies, man. I'm just waiting for them to go on special where they're not $9.50 for two. Because that's a bit expensive, man. Especially for an uncooked pie. You don't know what a sausage roll is? Somebody ban that guy in my chat. One of my mods want to ban that dude? You don't know what a sausage roll is? Okay, I'm kidding. Don't ban him. Wow, sausage roll is like making love. Like... It's weird the first time you do it or eat it. Like, I'm talking about the pie here. I mean, not the pie, the sausage roll, right? Um, it's weird the first time, but you kind of get used to it. Do you know what I mean? You kind of, like, get in the mood. You kind of like the taste. You might find something you can't chew through once, and therefore it puts you off a little bit, but that's okay. It's okay getting put off. Next time you come around, just come with an open mind. It's just like there's nothing worse than eating a pie and then finding something you can't chew through in it. That's me. If I eat a pie and it's great and I find something I can't chew through, I go, oh shit, I spit it in a bin. I pretend it didn't happen. I bite into it again and find something I can't chew through. I'm like, fuck it, the pie's ruined. I'll always give a pie a second chance because if you don't give a pie a second chance, you're not Australian. I mean, you could be, but us true blue Aussies give pies more than one chance. More than one chance. Two bites of... Tell me I'm wrong, chat. Tell me I'm wrong. Two bites of two bites of something that you don't know what it is, and you're done. You don't like pies? That's because you're not Australian, beautiful. <laughs> it's okay, darling. It is okay. Vegemite? Nah, Vegemite can eat my ass. Vegemite looks like it came out of your ass, but <laughs> I'm not keen on Vegemite. That's a different, uh, different story. 
I do prefer a pie over a sausage roll. But then again, if you want to get real, sausage roll kind of has, like... You know, you can have a chunky bacon sausage roll and the thing's like an absolute unit alongside maybe a bit of onion in it. You know, you just get a plain sausage roll, like... Woo! Do you know what I mean? A plain pie is better. But, you know, everyone likes a big hearty, chunky steak meat pie with, like, pepper. You know, everyone likes that. Anyways, um, moving back onto the game. Sorry, chat, I'm a little distracted. Now, I did a generator in the corner of the map, which was a single-person Jenny, which led to a three-gen strat. I said at the beginning of the game, we should not be doing that generator. But we did it anyways. He didn't even check on this other Jenny over here. He's checking on that one there. That's good. He's going to go to the shack, meaning he's got a three-gen strat, and he thought this one hadn't been touched. He might have looked through the cord and just not been able to see the pistons moving as fast. Each piston on a generator... Re um... Gives you approximately 20, 20%, 25% of how much productivity is done. About 20%. So two pistons done means 50, three pistons, 75. And when the Jenny's chugging like an absolute unit, it means it's about 90% of the way done. Hello, lads. Welcome back. How are we? God, I like that ace look, man. I mean, the shorts are a little bit... How you going? But, you know, he looks like he's ready for the beach or, you know, maybe going to, to brunch or something. That's a mistake. Don't complete it, don't complete it. Let me take a hit, let me take a hit. Now my team kind of cucked me a little bit then. They could have played that so much better. He didn't chase me, god bless. He has exhaustion. No, he doesn't have exhaustion add-ons. That was me, adrenaline. It's unfortunate my teammates didn't just stall. I clearly ran directly at the killer for a reason. And if they saw that, I was going to body block him. But that's okay. It's solo queue. I don't expect them to trust me. So landing a skill check is very important. It preserves a good... It, it preserves one charge of a med kit, yeah? Now, we know he's got Sloppy Butcher because it took me more than 24 seconds to heal. It took me an additional, what, four seconds? Sloppy Butcher. He 99 the window... The door? The window. Because he's a genius. This guy right here knows what he's doing. He's countering Blood Warden because he knows he's got two hurt allies and they need to both find an exit in time. Go for the door, brother. I've got you, fam. Trust... Trust in me, Ace. Trust in my big... Trust in my beautiful hip says I've got you! I've got- Come here then, come here you penis, if you want to heal. Okay, I'll just run around this then. Let Ace go- Oh, you're- Oh, ooh. Ooh. What's going on over here, boys? Hello, mate. We'll put a little bit more medkit in. Chlorophobia, so we're healing a lot slower. It's a 50% penalty, I believe. We'll heal this guy too. He doesn't have nurses calling. We see that hatch over there, lads. He's still running a loop around there. Old mate has already dipped. You know, a hand would help, cutie. Oh, he's got sprint burst? What an absolute gun. Sorry, man. You're gonna get caught. Alright, I help this brother out. He takes a hit. I do a borrowed time save. That'll work perfectly. Come on, man. We got this fam. Look at this guy's fashion. He is out there. You really want to date a guy like this because this shows confidence, man. This, this shows, like, confidence, security. He knows who he is. He knows what he's rocking. He knows what he's rolling. We got this, man. Borrowed time. That was a bit of lag saving, but he was a good sport then. Good for you, man. I'm going to give the killer props for that. He could have camped that out. Dude, he could have mind gamed that guy then. He did. Holy shit. Well done. It's a pity I'm right here to help a brother out. He didn't trust me the first time. I mean, he didn't see the door was open. But still. You know what? In hindsight, a good sportsmanship. I'm going to let this guy kill me on hook. I got nothing to prove. Wait. Hey. I'm going to let this guy hook me. There's no double blood point offering played. I don't really need the blood points too much. I know you see me, brother. Alright, I'm going to try and time my dead heart. It's okay. He's got shackle add-on, so I, um... No, he doesn't have shackle add-ons. It's a clown. That's okay. We're going to let him get the kill on us. Don't you fucking dare. You're not my dad. You can't make me leave. Right, I'm running in for the hatch. You did this, man. Don't you drop me. Don't you drop me. Don't you try and force my ass out. I'm not leaving. You're not my dad. I refuse. I know where the hatch is. I can crawl there in time. It's going to be a long crawl, but I can get there. He can't make me leave, chat. If I don't want to leave the trial... This is showing me a killer who doesn't want your charity. He doesn't want your free kill. I think he played really fair and reasonable, so I will give it to him. Alright, don't you dare drop me out here. I know what you're trying to do. I can't wiggle off, because if I wiggle off, he's going to push me out. 
If he drops me now, he can force me out. But I'm not going to wiggle because I know if I wiggle off, I leave. If I don't wiggle yeah. off and he drops me, I don't leave. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. You shouldn't be able to let me... You shouldn't be able to force me to leave a trial. You accept the love and affection I have for you. All right, this guy gets GG for me. We'll say GG, well played. Good sport, man. Thank you. Thank you. That just sounds weird, Goose. All right, where is this guy? What did he have? This guy had nothing. This guy's looking at bamboozle, chlorophobia, pop sloppy. You know what? Showed really good sportsmanship. Now, it's not necessity to let somebody go if they give you a free kill. I'm not saying that at all. But the fact that this guy... Okay, he followed the survivor handbook. Now, I'm a killer man. I don't follow that book. Not often, at least. But this guy played fair. He didn't tunnel. He changed targets. He, you know, he, he played fun. And for that, I'm going to give him props. Even if he destroyed all of us, the kind of attitude and mentality he had, he deserves plus rep from me, boys.